Hi, welcome back to the Keto's YouTube channel. Today we're going to show you how to set up certificate distribution using Manage Engine Mobile Device Manager Plus. And to do this, we're going to use EasyCA uh, as the PKI. It's really easy to set up. You can actually purchase it in Azure, as simple as typing EasyCA. And we also have the EasyCA EU. There is a EU version that stuff doesn't leave the EU. We're actually gonna use that one today. Really easy, you can set it up and it starts at $200 a month for a CA and there is no cost per user or anything like that. It's just, and you get a CA that can issue a, a one certificate per second, which is more than enough for a managed device endpoint. So first thing we're gonna do here is go here. And in the previous video, I was a little bit lazy and I did it based off the root CA. This one we're actually gonna, as you can see here, in this one, we're actually gonna follow best practices and create a subordinate CA. And I'm skipping the root CA creation because it's basically the same thing as this. So might as well just kind of create one and you can imagine how the other one looks. And here we're just adding a notification email. All your PKI admins get it notified for everything. But in here, I'm just adding an extra email. It could be like, for example, it could be security at ketos.io. Um, so another thing here is if you wanna enable OCSP, that's, um, that's another way to check revocation. Uh, we cover that in another video. You can, I'll, I'll link it down below. You can check it out. Um, in this case, we're just going to click no. And in here, we're just going to click skip template. In here, you can set it up. Uh, for this case, we're going to need skip static. But if you need dynamic for another thing, or if you want your users, this is actually a really cool feature. If you want your users to just go into our portal and be able to create a certificate, let's say they have a device that is not managed, but they have their AAD account, you can do that as well. So here we're just gonna kind of set it up. Uh, we're gonna select our location and we're gonna create a, a, this CA. Uh, in the back end, Ketos will set up the HSM, do everything for you and we'll create the CA. And as you can see here, it created the CSR and here you could go, you could sign up with your root CA that is uh, somewhere on premise and do all that stuff. But we do it the easy way with easy CA. So we're just gonna sign up with the EU root that already exists and as simple as that, um, in less than a few minutes with me talking, we have created our own CA. So in here, I'm gonna download the certificate because we're gonna need that. So I'm gonna download the certificate, save it in downloads. And I'm also gonna need the root certificate. And to do that, I'm just gonna go here and we use the EU root. I'm just gonna click view details and I'm gonna save that certificate. So now we have most of the stuff that we need from EasyCA. I'm actually gonna cheat a little bit and go to view requirements for our manage engine sub CA, because that's what we're gonna use. Now I'm here, I'm just gonna go here. And first we have to do is go to certificates. And in here, you're gonna add a CA server. And this is where you use generic SCEP. You call it EU CA. You can call it whatever you want. In, in this case, I'm just calling it EU, so I know which one it is. And you set up the URL. As simple as that. And then for CA certificate, we have to add it. So in this case, we're gonna add the manage certificate, the, the subordinate certificate. And in here, we create the template name. So we're just gonna call it EU template. The subject, you can do CN and username or whatever you need for your Wi-Fi, And you can do that with adding this. And you can see here like the username, MAC address, whatever you need, UPN. But in this case, we're just testing. So we're just gonna do testing. Uh, but this is usually what you use for identifying your users. Another way is subordinate subject alternate name. Uh, and you can use RFC 822 name, DNS or URI name and set it up kind of the same in this case. As I said, we're just testing. So I'm not doing all this stuff, but in here you can do number of failed attempts. So you wanna have a few failed attempts, you know, stuff happens um, and you can do them whatever, like 15 seconds apart, a minute apart. That's up to you. I'm just kind of setting it up. In here is challenge type. So challenge type by default is none. That basically means anybody that contacts that endpoint could be able to issue it. EasyCA doesn't support that because we care about security. So uh, we're gonna do static. So we go back here to EasyCA, we select the password and you're probably thinking, oh, you're showing the password to everybody. It's actually really easy to rotate the password. All I have to do is this and it'll rotate the password. So now you see it and by the end of the video, you won't be able to, to get into this CA, so don't worry. And here we're gonna select use for digital uh, signature 
you could do key encipherment if you're going to use it for that and you can have the certificate auto renew uh, 20 days before it expires so we're going to save this and now we have the template we have the certificate it all just kind of got added we have to add our other root just so the root is also added to the trusted root store going here we're just going to do this and add the certificate so now you'll see EU root and we have manage engine sub. So the next thing we have to do is create a profile. In this case, I'm just gonna create it for Windows and it's gonna be called EU SCEP because we're issuing certificates from the EU CA. And in here, we're gonna go to SCEP. We're gonna select the one that we have, the EU template. We're gonna click save. Next thing we have to do is select the certificate that we wanna push. And in this one, we wanna push the manage engine uh, sub and click save. For some reason, it doesn't let you add multiple certificates to the same uh, profile. So what I do is publish this profile and then I create another profile and we call it EU root. And in this one, all we do is push the, the certificate. And so in here, I'm just going to do EU root, click save, click publish. And now we have to assign these two to the devices. So in this case, I only have one device. So in here, I'm just gonna assign it to this device that is a test device. We're gonna go here, action, associate profile. We're gonna select our two profiles. And basically now when I turn on this device, which I'll do now, and this device has already been enrolled, but if not, you'll download it enroll it and everything. Now that this is powered on, we can go into the manage user certificates. And in here we should first see in the trusted root store, we should see our EU root certificate. And then when we come here, we can see that we created a testing certificate that it, it was created by the man, manage engine sub and the EU root. And if we go back to our dashboard, we can do a refresh here. And while it still shows in progress, but it has already been applied. So it just has some phone backed. So that's how easy it is to create a certificate authority for manage engine mobile device manager plus with easy CA. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let us know.